We can also create a dynamic media item using tagging. As you can see here, we have six images. We have two hats with the tag slot one. We have two t-shirts with the tag slot two and two pairs of shoes with the tag slot three. We're going to use these tags to create a dynamic media item. So to do this, we need to go into our layouts. Into the builder. And then into our zone. So we select media. We can then create our dynamic media item here. First of all, we need to select the order. This is the order in which our items will play in our zone. So this can be by the upload date, newest or oldest first, A to Z, Z to A or random. We're going to select A to Z. We then need to enter all of the tags that our items have to add them to our dynamic media item. So our tags are slot 1, slot 2 and slot 3. If we then insert this dynamic media, our zone would then show all the items with these tags in alphabetical order from A to Z of their file name. So if we insert this, click finish editing, save and preview. We can then show the tagged items in a specific order by creating a sequence. So let's go and do that. As you can see here, we can create a playback sequence. We can then add a rule, which will then create our sequence. So if we wanted to create a sequence, where it would show a slot 1 item, then a slot 2 item, then a slot 3 item, then go back to a slot 1, 2 and 3 and so on. We can set that up here. So first we select how many items we want to show. So we want to show one item with the tag slot 1. We then add another rule to show one item with the tag slot 2. And finally one item with the tag slot 3. So our sequence will go as follows. It will show one item with the tag slot 1 which first comes alphabetically. So if we look at slot 1 it will show our cap first. We will then go to slot 2 where again the first one alphabetically is black shirt. It will then show slot 3 First one alphabetically is shoes. It will then go back and show slot one. So the next one alphabetically in slot one is hat. So our sequence will go cap, black t-shirt, shoes, hat, white t-shirt, trainers. So let's update our dynamic media. Click finish editing and save and preview. So as you can see cap, black shirt, shoes, hat, white shirt, trainers. To update our sequence, all we have to do is add a new media item, tag it and preview our layout. So let's add another t-shirt.
So we then need to tag it with the same tag as our t-shirts. So we need to tag our red t-shirt slot 2. And as this comes alphabetically before white t-shirt, our red t-shirt will show in the sequence before our white t-shirt. So to see this in action, we can preview our layout. So the first three will still be the same. It will then show our hat our red t-shirt and then trainers. Next time around it will show our cap, our white t-shirt and then our shoes. If we then remove the tag from one of our images it will also remove it from our sequence. So if we go to our media and remove the tag from our shoes this will also remove it from our sequence. As you can see, shoes no longer has a tag, so this won't play in our sequence. So let's preview the layout to make sure this has worked.